A-Lift Fan TV, we are back with the player ratings. I have the manager, Ivan, and ex-A-Lift manager, Christian. We're going to dive straight into it. Guy in goal, what do you think about that? Uh, Guy, for me, I'd say he was an eight today. You know, solid. You know, I think he had a tough one in the first quarter. I think everyone kind of ran and gave up. But he was off his line. He really looked strong. We just They just looked comfortable behind him. Mm. Uh, I would give him a seven, personally. I thought, again, very, very good. But, you know, did concede six. You know, whatever. That's very true. Right, we're going to move on to the defence. Centre back number one, Daniel Tyler. How do you think he played? Uh, quiet game for him. I thought, in the sense, he didn't really make too much, mis uh, too many mistakes. Um, he's susceptible to one or two a game. Uh, he was quiet. He had Noah just really commanding him next to him. I'd say he was a solid seven. Yeah. Similar. I'll give him a six and a half. All right. Now we're going on to Joey. How do you think he played today? Um, I'd say another, I'd say a seven, and I'll say a seven only because I know one of the goals, the crucial goal, the, their fifth goal was his mistake. I thought it kind of knocked the wind out of us, but he was playing pretty much injured and he was playing right back as well. He filled in for people that were missing, so. Would you agree? Barely noticed him on the pitch. <laughs> Five, I guess. Ooh. He's harsh today, he's harsh today. All right, now we're going to go on to the captain, uh, Jose. We've heard you speak about him. What, how, what would you rate him? He's good, but how good is he really? <laughs> he was okay today. I will give him credit. Well, credit is due. I used to coach him. I taught him everything he knows, by the way. The, play <laughs> the player you see today is the player that I crafted from scratch because he came to me as a rugby player. I barely kick a ball. Go on, I'll give him a seven. I think it was good. I think it was good. I think that's fair. I think, yeah, man of the match performance. Um, you know, I'd say a nine for me. Leader. Very good. And now we're going to go on to... Who was it left back? Did we switch Seth. it around? Seth. All right, who goes... Seth, how do you think he played? I think that, um, you know, I think he was good. I'd, say I'd, give, him a, I'd give him a seven. He wanted, the um, he wanted the press. He did call for the press, um, which in fairness to him, you know, he stepped up in the half time, in the quarter break and said, look, we got a press there. Um, but, you know... I, I think he ran out a bit of steam towards the end. It's tough being there, but when we moved into left mid, he, he kind of did all right. So yeah, I'd say it's a solid game from Seth. Did you I, agree? I was actually very impressed with Seth. Like he had, our right side is pretty strong, and he actually managed it fairly well. I'll give him a seven and a half. I was all actually right. very impressed. Thank you very much. We're going to go straight into midfield. Midfielder number one, Louis Marcus. How do you think he played? I, I just. <laughs> 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 it just uh, he just needs to fix a couple of issues that we're having he's got to spread the ball out the other way he keeps trying to do the same thing to be fair to him when he was pressing he pressed really well he pressed quickly um, but it's just about being that link up between the back and the front and trying to move that ball forward you know step out of this kind of thinking of You've got to move it one way, reverse it, look like it's a Hollywood ball. Uh, so I'd, I'd give him a five and a half today. Right, do you agree he was too flashy, would you say? He just looked nervous out there. I'm not going to lie to you, he just looked nervous, looked uncomfortable. He worked hard though, extremely hard. He yeah, put he did. Our, In the he, press, he did. He put he did. our sentiments under so much pressure the whole game. And to do that for a whole game is extremely respectable. Yep. I think a five and a half is... Yep. All right, now on to Eli, midfielder number two. How do you think he played? Uh, really good in the press, uh, really good at moving the ball early as well. I would have liked him to impose himself a little bit more in the game. Um, I'd give him a six and a half. Would you agree? I love Eli. He can do no wrong in my eyes. I think he's just easier seven and a half. All right. Now onto the wingers. We're going to go for Ori. I just think he played. Uh, amazing. Uh, standardly bringing the quality every week to us. Uh, he puts the application, barring his brother slash mum who make him arrive late every game we've now got a club rule that even if he arrives late he starts because he just applies himself in training applies himself in the game link up he's good on the set i uh, wish he'd score a couple more goals so for that i'm going to give him an eight how do you think i completely agree i thought he, like your front two front three yeah plus under so much pressure constantly yep. like it was actually a massive handful 100 like, a massive handful uh, it's easier than eight Comfortably. All right, now keeping with the attack, we're going to go for the hat trick scorer and fan favourite Yoni Klein. How do you think he did? Yoni only scored three today. Uh, no, joking. I think he, uh, for me, he's, you know, again, he's close to being, very close to being that man match. But I think we've got to remember, guys, it's like when, you know, when 
when Harry Redknapp was told why doesn't he give goal bonuses to players it's like it's a striker's job to score goals and I think it's Yoni's job to score goals and I think he scored three today he's playing great he's playing for the fans he's playing for his teammates and he pressed the entire game when he was on the entire game so for me I'm going to give him an eight right and uh, would you agree we've seen a lot of Yoni but you've only seen him for one game were you impressed? I actually disagree with what Ivan said I think an eight it just does not do him justice I think easier nine and a half. Mm. Got a hat trick against my elite defence that we barely ever can see. <laughs> elite! <laughs> and, and the thing is, I was missing a few players. Like, you guys just understand. Yoni is probably the only player in this team that might make my bench. But he is just that good, in my opinion. He, I think Guy would get in goal. <laughs> Your keeper had a few. That's true. To be fair, I don't have a keeper. <laughs> but um, he's class. He is elite in front of goal. He never ever crumbles under pressure. I think he's just a great role model as well for the kids. Mm. Great role model. He's motivational. He's, uh, he's just everything. And finally, we're going on to Ethan Steiner. How do you think he played? Uh, solid. Had to put in a shift today. Um, was, was better in that second and third quarter when we were pressing. Got him to press higher for him. Um, really good performance. Put in a shift for the team. Took one in the... You know, the manly parts, which kind of literally took the wind out of him. I'd say I'd give him a, a good seven. So, um, I was impressed. I thought he worked hard the whole game. Um, way better than some of the other players on the team, by far. I think he should be playing sentiment personally. I think Louis, get him out of there. Get Ethan in there, please. He'll do the right thing at the right time. Um, I'll give him a six. All right, I almost forgot. We know he arrived late, but he did make it. Joe Leitman. <laughs> Did you <Luke> play? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll get to Luke in a minute. Joe, Joe first. Joe first. Uh, <laughs> Joe, Joe. Um, ten out of ten commitment for for you know he was on a fishing trip this morning, overnight, barely mm. slept, and he decided to come for half time. That is miss. That is that is quality. Bumps him up straight away. But for me, he came on. He was quick on the wing. He was on the press. He wanted the ball. He was playing left foot crosses as well. I'd say I give him I give him a good seven. All right. Would you agree with that? He's a funny one. I he just plays with so, so much confidence but such little productivity. It's just Ouch. I do love love him to bits though. Love him to bits. He he was all the jokes aside, he actually did play quite well. Again with that two Three, four man press, put us under constant pressure on the counter attack. Mm. I think a seven's quite fair. I was right. sure. Now we're going to go to Luke, <laughs> who I almost forgot about. Uh, was he as invisible as I make him out to be? Uh, no, no, I think that's a bit harsh. Um, he, he definitely, I think I wanted Ori and Yoni to play up top to keep that kind of partnership together so I put him in a tough role in left mid, left mid which he wasn't used to which is probably why he didn't think he was around um, but then you know once we changed up a little bit you know he was he's really he's good at that press he's good at getting up to it I'd say I'd give him a good six and a half today yeah would you agree with that barely saw him on the pitch not gonna lie to you yeah. like but the thing is he looked uncomfortable he's just not quick enough to be a winger he's just not quick full stop and to be fair it's probably the manager was more full so Based on the manager's mistake, I think he was more like a four. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to go to Christian for this one. How would you rate Ivan's performance today? I thought he got spot on, to be honest. Put us under so much pressure on the counter-attack, especially considering I was missing a few of my starting centre-backs, mm. which I know you know. Mm. Um, I thought the game plan was just perfect, but I just... My, my team's just better, so you know, like there's only so much you can do with what you have, you know, because you've got Louis midfield, <laughs> Luke left mid. <laughs> like, at least, at least he doesn't have Mickey. Who? Mickey. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. That's cold. That's cold. I thought Ivan did um, a pretty good job considering what, what he had to work with. So yeah. that's easily an eight up for me. All right, now uh, we're going to go on to Dennis. The referee, he's he's a fan favourite. He's amazing. He's great. He was giving my players so much stick. We love oh, Dennis. And I was like, I'm all here for, all for it. Yeah. All for it. I, easy to 10 out of 10. Yeah. I mean, mm, one of the goals, yours was offside, so I'll give him a 9. I think Yoni started in our own half, so he I wasn't think, offside. I think, I think it was we, have we have the replay. We have the replay. I love that. I love that. We'll see. If I'm wrong, it's a 10. If, it's if a I'm ten, right, it's a 9. It, it, Dennis, 10 out of 10. 
Yeah. We need more refs like him. Yeah, 100%. definitely. I agree. I, I think that. the Premier League could do with Dennis, honestly. Yeah, honestly. I mean, the, some of the decisions I mean, they're making. Leaving, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there's a space. Yeah. All right, finally, finally, we're going to go to the fans. And I mean, I'm just going to give my opinion. Absolutely abysmal. Mickey didn't even bother turning up. He <laughs> thought the game started at two. He'll be here in a few hours. <laughs> but um, it was just me and Dylan. No one turned up. And there wasn't the kind of... We saw in the global game, we were all cheering and stuff. It was silent. The, the, stands the, were, the stands were the best against Global, but where's Mickey now? Where's our pitch? Who's deciding how well the pitch is? Oh, this is Oren. Oren. Where's Oren? Where, where is everyone? Listen, 32 Churchway uh, convoys going out next week to Merchant Taylor. We'll see you there. <laughs> Semi-final. Get in the car. All right. I think we could just cut it there. That's the outro. <laughs>